Hey YouTube, it's Whistle 3 Man here. I thought I'd make a little video of uh, my solar kiln. Um, just kind of some tips for some of you guys that might be wanting to build one and just show you how well it's working. All right, there's the kiln. Uh, has a big window on the front. In my case, it's angled at about 45 degrees. It goes with your, what is it, your longitude. I believe that's it because uh, here where I live it's I'm at about 41 degrees and the, the angle of the window should match your longitude and I made it 45 just a little bit easier you know easier for construction purposes and it faces south so you get the most sun I got it covered in black that roll roofing and then it is insulated uh, the back here let me just show you I got two big doors on the back. There's vents up top and there's sliding vents on the door. You can slide them open or closed. And I got these cables. You can see those cables coming down. They just help to support the door because the doors are pretty big. Let me open it up for you. Okay, here we are with the kiln opened up. And my little dog here, she likes to help out and sniff. Always looking for mice or something. Uh, this wood's been in here a couple of weeks. This stuff here is um, quarter sawn pin oak. Oh, you can see it's actually kind of nice. I never did pin oak before, but it's actually come out pretty cool. And there's some walnut. We got some cherry, some more cherry. That stuff in the back is an uh, inch and a half thick. Oh, I don't know. What is that? 12 inches wide. Uh, quarter sawn red oak. This is, uh, boy, I forget what that was. I think it was a couple little cherry logs that uh, another fella had. Now you can see it's, um, you see that? Hopefully you can see, I think it's 81 degrees out there. Here's my other thermometer. Uh, that's showing a little higher. That's showing closer to 86. Now it's 50, about 53 degrees out here today. Um, you can see I got it insulated with silver insulation. I got a little thermostat there, which I can use to turn the fan on, and I have it set at about 110 degrees, so it'll turn the fan on at 110. Now, I think it's not going to get 110 today by any means, but believe me, on a summer day, this thing will get well past 110. I've seen it up as high as 150, 170 in here already. Um, so it does a pretty good job, but that fan will turn on, and then it blows air down and around and through the stack and at one time you can see some old plastic hanging up there i actually had some plastic i used to sort of staple to the top of the stack so it would force the air through the stack this stuff on top is just kind of junky stuff i keep on hand and i do that to keep the direct sun off the top of the boards because they'll get such a baking on top they'll tend to bow up you know the top surface will dry a lot faster so um this other door opens up as well uh, I got a latch down here. It's tight, but this other door opens up, and you get you can see how the whole thing opens up in the back. Now, I made this thing a little over 12 feet on the inside, figuring I could get you know 12 foot lumber in, obviously. But if I was to do it over again, and if some of you guys out there build one, build it more like 14 feet inside, because 12 foot lumber fits. But by the time you sneak around the door and the little you know here this little offset you got on the inside yeah it makes it tough getting 12 foot lumber in here so if you do it if i do would do it again i would make it 13 or 14 feet just to make it easier um you can see here it's insulated i have insulation oh, the dog likes to get in there because there's a groundhog underneath yeah there's insulation underneath it and this one's up on skids i could theoretically move it if i had to so Okay, let's get the moisture meter out and poke a few of these boards and see what we have. Okay, that's what I have for a moisture meter with the pins. They make uh, make fancier ones that uh, will actually, you set on the board and I think with a laser or something, they will detect moisture deeper into the board. So, you know, you could say these things only detect the surface moisture, which they do, but sometimes if I want to really... Um, find out what I got going on. I might actually cut a section off the board so you can get the pins in the inside. But let's see what we got right now. Okay, zero dot. This is a walnut. Oh, they're in there good. I'm still reading 20% there. 
Let's check some of this. That was the last stuff I put in, obviously. This is pin oak. Oh, look at that. It's down to 4 or 5%. This is a cherry. <laughs> Zero, 01, maybe occasionally jumps to 4. How about this one? I try to get them in there deep. Basically, zero. Now we go in here deeper and lower. Uh, the, the, obviously, the wood deeper and lower is the coolest. There it is. It, uh, it's jumping around between 11 and 9 percent. Now, these boards have been in here the longest. They've been in here maybe a month already, but we're in early spring here in Pennsylvania, so it's not been getting terribly hot. But considering when you put them in here, they're probably 40 percent or something. Yeah, these these cherry ones are down almost zero. Uh, we can go down a little lower. Check this guy. Zero. There's one here. We can get in deep. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it's definitely working. Inside of just a couple weeks, this pin oak is probably dry. I'll give it another week or so, but it's basically dry. Okay, just as a uh, like a little comparison, uh, these are uh, three nice poplar logs they've just been cut down i would say in the last three weeks or so and there you go so like i said around 40 percent moisture is what you usually see oh uh, here let's check out on this one sapwoods 28 heartwood look at that 40 percent you put that stuff in the kiln saw on an inch thick or so and in a few weeks it with decent weather it'll be getting it'll get down there pretty quick to you know under 10 percent i got some other logs here just a quick look at some nasty gnarly looking sycamores and then these two here are uh two nice red oaks let's see these red oaks they've been cut down in last month same 40 out here near the outside a little drier towards the outside 18 percent so there you go 40 going in and inside a month or less in august when it's hot as blazes out here it drives wood like crazy so if you have a sawmill you might want to think about building yourself a solar kiln it'll save you a lot of time rather than putting lumber up for you know a year uh, air drying okay folks whistle three man signing out enjoy you know if you like the video hit the like button if you want to subscribe go ahead and subscribe i guess it helps I just do it because I enjoy putting the videos out there to help people out that uh, might be interested in sawmilling and lumber and whatnot. So, okay, YouTube, enjoy. Have a nice day.